Now you have your Descent G1 series watch. We're going to show you what's the data field difference in your new Descent G1. For this video, we'll be using decompression activity, when you exceed the no decompression limit displayed by watch. You should perform the required decompression stops. During the dive to help reduce the risk of decompression sickness, skipping a decompression stop will greatly increase the risk. The most different from the MK2 series is that G1 has two indicator segments beside the screen. This is the main page of scuba dive. The left side is nitrogen and helium tissue load level, the right side is ascent rate. The indicator enters the yellow paragraph to represent warning and danger. Divers need to be alerted and pay attention to their own status. Customized page allows the user to display additional dive and physiological indicator information. Take this image as an example. When the indicators on the left and right are displayed as the diver's current OTU and CNS, the indicator enters the yellow paragraph to represent warning and danger. When you exceed the NDL time, the screen will jump to the decompression stop page. The cursor mark on the left side is the relative between you and the water surface. If you start to ascend, the cursor is to show your depth position relative to the water surface. The white segment represents the completed stop depth. The yellow paragraph on the watch case has no special meaning on this page and under the safety stop page. Last, please pay attention to your own condition while you dive in. And follow the information and prompts displayed on the watch to decompress or make a safety stop until you return to the surface. The most important thing is ascending slowly to the water surface to keep your safe. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit support.garmin.com.